ancient race of white giants described in native legends from many Native American tribes. Several Native American tribes passed down legends of a race of white giants who were wiped out. And we can take a look here at a few of such legends, including those among the Choctaw and the Comanches of the United States down to the Manta of Peru. The Choctaw. Horatio Bardwell Cushman wrote in his 1899 book, History of the Choctaw, Chikawa, Saw, and uh, Natchez Indians, the traditions of the Choctaws, told of a race of giants that once inhabited the now state of Tennessee, with whom their ancestors fought when they arrived in Mississippi in their migration from the West. Their tradition states the Nahula race of giants was of a wonderful stature. Cushman said Nahulo came to be used as, uh, to describe all white people, but it orig originally referred specifically to a giant white race with whom the Choctaw came into contact when they first crossed the Mississippi River. The Nahulo were said to be cannibals whom the Choctaw killed whenever the opportunity arose. The Comanches, chief rolling thunder of the Comanches, a tribe from the Great Plains, gave the following account of an ancient race of white giants in 1857. He said, innumerable moons ago, a race of white men 10 feet high and far more rich and powerful than any white people now living, here inhabited a large range of country extending from the rising to the setting sun. Their fortifications crowned the summits of the mountains, what the ancient Greeks used to call Acropolis, used to be on the top of the mountains, in other words, for the people to take refuge here, there against enemies, they took the high position, protecting their populous cities situated in the intervening valleys. They excelled every other nation, which was flourished, which was flourished either before or since, in all manner of cunning handicraft. They were brave and warlike, ruling over the land they had wrested from its ancient possessors with a high and haughty hand. Compared with them, the pale faces of the present day were pygmies in both art and arms, he said. The chief explained that when this race forgot justice and mercy and became too proud, the great spirit wiped it out, and all that was left of their society were the mounds still visible on the tablelands. This account was described by Dr. Donald Panther Yates, a researcher and author of books on Native American history on his blog. The Navajo, Yates also writes of star-naked people, now of Navajo legend, describing them as a regal race of white giants endowed with mining technology who dominated the West, enslaved lesser tribes and had strongholds all through the Americas. They were either extinguished or went back to the heavens. Now we know that uh, ancient uh, Minoans mined the Great Lakes area and the Native Americans of that area are found to have Minoan DNA. That is, Minoans were from Crete of Greece. Now, Manta, in 1864, Pedro de Cieza de Leon wrote in Chronicle of Peru about legendary giants described to him by the Manta indigenous people. There are, however, reports concerning giants in Peru who landed on the coast at the point of Santa Elena the natives relate the following tradition, which had been received from their ancestors from very remote times. There arrived on the coast in boats made of reeds, as big as large ships, a party of men of such size that from the knee downwards their height was as great as the entire height of an ordinary man, though he might be of good stature. Their limbs were all in proportion to the deformed size of their bodies, and it was a monstrous thing to see their heads, hair reaching to their shoulders, their eyes were as large as small plates. Leon said that the sexual habits of the giants were revolting to the natives, and heaven eventually wiped out the giants because of those habits. The Paiutes. The Paiutes are said to have the oral tradition that told of red-haired white cannibals about 10 feet tall who lived in or near what is now known as Lovelock Cave in Nevada. It's unclear whether this oral tradition about the so-called Siteka giants existed or if it was an exaggeration or distortion 
of their legends made after the Paiutes were mostly killed or dispersed in 1833 by the expedition uh, by an expedition by explorer Joseph Walker. Brian Dunning of Skeptoid explored Paiutes legends and found no mention of the Sitaka being giants. It seems there was, however, a people who practiced cannibalism and who lived in Lovelock Cave. Human remains have been found there and a few of the human bones had the marrow removed, suggesting the marrow was eaten. Cannibalism seems to have been a rare practice among the, those people, however. It remains to, uh, the remains do have red hair, but this may be because black hair can turn red with time. The, uh, the miners unearthed the uh, artifacts in 1912, leaving them in a pile before eventually containing the uh, University of California, contacting the University of California. Anthropologist Llewellyn Loud traveled from the university to the site to investigate. It's com commonly agreed that excavation of the site was not handled well and certainly not up to modern standards, but some proponents of the Sitaka giant theory say researchers have deliberately covered up any giant remains that were found there. And this is on Bedded Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.